so I was really not hot. I was like tepid. No, you were visual. Go Rouge. Let me go Rouge. Show episode eleven. Found. Talk. Hey, yeah, and it says everything it's supposed to say and everything. All right, Facebook Live. We're going to be starting in about two seconds. Well, I say two seconds. Really, more like how many seconds? I'm 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 here on your dime, man. I'm here. No, whatever you're That's right. a nice jacket. Thank you. That's a nice jacket. It's multi generational. We were talking uh, about that jacket. Uh, <laughs> I'm to the point in my life where if I don't have to wear a suit, I don't want to wear a suit. I do not wear suits hardly anymore. Uh, and I can and I avoid you're a blazer guy. I have you're kind to. of a blazer I'm guy. Like, now. I really I am, man. It's okay. They were they were right. You wanna count me off? Are you going to do the song first or the intro first? Okay. Stand by. All right. Good morning, Baton Rouge, Franz Borkart, and Brian Haldane on Master Controls. Welcome to the 11th episode of the Go Rouge Show. We've got a great lineup. I say that every week, Brian, because they're all great lineups. Today we've got Julio from Business Report. He's going to talk to us about leadership. It's not just a magazine. It's not just a series of magazines. It's about leadership, too. We're going to be talking to Julio for the first segment. The second segment, we're going to have Carissa Graves come talk to us about a Shooting Clays charity event for Cristo Ray Baton Rouge Franciscan High School. It's a really cool high school. They're about to get their first graduating class. And then lastly, we're going to have Leslie from Southern Flair talking fashion, blogging, how to transition from a boring work career to something a little bit more magical. So before we kick into... Our first segment, Brian, we've got some events to talk about, and we've got some sponsorships to talk about. Which do you want to do first? you want to do the sponsorships first? Or the sponsorships? I, you know what? I think lead with the sponsorships. I like obviously. it. I like it. So the Go Roost Show is brought to you by Sullivan Steakhouse, your neighborhood steakhouse. Breck. Breck. And by the way, Brian, I'm going to get Breck on here to talk about all the things you never knew about Breck. We're going to have a segment just about all the things you never knew about Breck. I had a number of good conversations with Corey Wilson Dude. at uh, Washington Mardi Gras last oh, week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Breck's doing some good stuff. We have Louisiana Tech Park. We have the law offices of Smith, Shanklin, and Sosa, a go-to personal injury law firm, not on billboards, but they will do a wonderful job for you. Realtor Brittany Malance on at Keller Williams Red Stick Partners, and of course, certainly not least and last, but the Borkhart Law Firm. So, four events we need to talk about, Brian, before we kick things off is, first and foremost, we have No Show Comedy this week, Comedians Debate. Are you going to this event? It's the cancel culture of... Cancel culture debate. I'm involved in it. Are this is the one tomorrow night. This is Wednesday, January 29th at 8 a.m. Excuse me, 8 p.m. at Guru. We're basically four comedians. Mm -hmm. I, I say that loosely. Four of us will be debating cancel cancel culture and its place in society. The kicker is, I don't know which side I'm arguing. They're going to draw lots to decide which side we're debating on. Okay. So I don't know. I am generally against cancel culture. I'm sensitive to it, but that's going to be tomorrow. Fifteen dollars for a ticket. It's a good deal. It's a good deal. Uh, it's being put on by No Show Comedy, uh, the Omar Finley and his company. So definitely want to attend that. We got to talk sushi rolls and wings. Yeah, Soji this Thursday. This Thursday, go to Soji, get the Mary Bird Perkins wing. Or excuse me, sushi roll. It's like fifteen bucks. A hundred percent of the proceeds are going to be donated to fight breast cancer. Mm. Not just that though. For every purchase of a roll, my law firm is going to match it. So no limit on that. They're also going to have some wing specials. We're promoting the wing of mania wing festival that's coming in March. So Soji starting, I think, at about 6. I'll be there. Brian, you're going to have a chance to bring the family out there? Uh, to, no, no. Thursday is out for me. I will be at a different event um, at Red Stick Social, bowling to fight ALS. I like it. I like it. I'll fight breast cancer. You fight ALS. Everybody's winning. I like it. So, again, you know what you could do? You know what you could do? I'll save some rolls for you, and you can just come by and pick them up, and I'll match. Okay. So, that works. Yeah. So, Rue Rallies this weekend. I'm getting, normally I lawyer, 
But this weekend I get to judge. I'm going to be one of the gumbo judges at Rue Rally. Um, we can probably talk about that tomorrow on your show a little bit if we can. Oh, show. no, absolutely we okay. are. Okay, good deal, good deal. And then lastly but not least, cocktails and acrobats. I'll say that again, cocktails and acrobats. It's going to be one of our Go Roost Thirsty Thursdays on February 6th. It's going to be at 5 p.m. The Air Seekers are going to be doing some – the Air Seekers, Julio, are going to be doing some acrobatics at Sullivan's while we have cocktails. I'm st- it's That event just sold itself. So, all right. So I've got Julio from the Greater Baton Rouge Business Report, 225 and in register, in studio, in the flesh. How are you doing, man? Fantastic, man. So, uh, I don't think my social calendar is as good as yours, but I'm going to work it, baby. I don't know. You got think, it going on. Let this me tell week. you something. Let me tell you. I've been going to some of your events, Julio, and your social calendar is definitely <laughs> as good as mine. So we had you in this week, and look, I definitely want to talk about the publications and all the great stuff you're doing, but I want to talk about leadership because there's a component to what you guys do that I don't think everybody knows about. And look, Brian, I am a product of the Baton Rouge Business Report Leadership Academy. I went to the academy, great multi-week program. Um, So let's talk a little bit about leadership. What are you guys doing in furtherance of leadership? Well, you know, that part of our mission here in the community, certainly from Business Report, is we want to connect people and we want to inform people. And uh, we started uh, the concept of the Leadership Academy because a rising tide raises all boats. And we know that any nation, any state, any organization, any business is is only as good as its uh, leadership. And so we wanted to be able to uh, contribute to that. And we thought it was congruent with our mission of trying to help our community flourish economically, financially, socially. And uh, it's been a home run. And so in this particular program, uh, we have 30 people that we select. It's, right. it's, it's very uh, intimate because the peer interaction in the curriculum is very, very, very specific. Uh, as you well know, a lot of the people that attend the leadership get to hear from CEOs like Todd Graves right. from Raising Canes, uh, Roland Toops from Turner Industries, uh, a lot of iconic, a lot of uh, entrepreneurs that have grown their businesses, and they have that access for great Q&As. They take uh, personal diagnostics, uh, and it's a very painful process because you get to learn a lot about yourself, right? Right. You know? And so um, it's been great. Great. And, and, and again, I think that the key for our community is to have more leaders in every facet of our community. Uh, right. I, I don't care if it's for the for-profit, for the non-profit, regardless of the vocation, the industry, academics, ministry, politics, whatever it is, we need to raise the standard of leadership so that our community can reach its full potential uh, in the future. So I recently had the pleasure of being on a 2020 forecast panel with the business report, and I'm sitting at a table with, you know, some great folks, you know, Exxon Mobil, Business First Bank, or yep. B1 Bank, B1 Bank, um, yeah. you know, Ladder and Bloom, and I and I told them, and I told them that there is a connectivity to everything, whether you're in criminal justice, and I'm in criminal justice, uh, education, whether it's you're slinging coffee at community coffee, there is a connectivity to every single component of our society, and once you realize that. It motivates you to get into places you might not intuitive. Look, I'm sitting at I'm sitting at the Leadership Academy, Brian, and to the in front of me I've got the General Counsel for Community Coffee. To the right of me I've got a digital architect, like a digital architect. Mm-hmm. Behind me I've got a banker. I mean, and we're all talking about fundamental leadership issues that that are universal across our industry. I told you before we went on there. I'm a small operation, so I'm a small entrepreneur. I don't have 20, 100 employees. But I'm sitting there listening to some of the group dynamic things that you guys are talking about and teaching us, and I immediately am like, well, this is going to be very helpful in group dynamics and jury selection, which I've used since the actual academy. So, man, y'all are, y'all are killing it. But y'all are not just doing the academy, though. You're doing leadership breakfasts. Yep. Let's talk about leadership breakfasts. I just went to a fantastic leadership power breakfast. Uh, what was that, last week? It was last week. As a matter of fact, that was our 22nd. Uh, uh, in 1998, I was so tired of all the negative news uh, that you see on television and read in the daily newspaper. And so one of the things uh, uh, we did was we wanted to have uh, an event that kicked off the new year and looked at possibilities and opportunities, you know, and also reflected back on the positive things. You know, what's interesting about our world is that the negative – news travels in waves right it bombards us every single day but good news 
Like there's so many good things happening in Baton Rouge, but we don't hear enough of it. And it's 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 trickled here, it's trickled there, it's trickled there. And so what we decided to do is that once a year to kick off, it's almost like a business pep rally, Dude, right, for the community, all the community leaders. It was amazing. You know? a, a room full of the who's who in the business world. Over 600 people we had. Yes, and not just that, but I want to give you praise and props. Your panel of speakers couldn't be more diverse. There was age differentials. You had Kenny. Kenny, who's who's twenty nine. Twenty nine. You had Garrett Graves kick it off. I mean, Congressman, you did, you guys did a great job on that. Thank you. Um, uh, and and don't forget Dr. John Kerwin. No, 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 no. I, I, well, you know I, Pennington, yeah. baby. Yeah. Look, look. Uh, everybody worldwide. Obviously, it's a renowned research center, but uh, most of the locals here don't even know. Uh, so, not, they they don't even understand what Pennington actually does. So it's funny to me that we sometimes forget some of these institutions. Pennington. Um, I met with Personas lately, um, yeah, and they were talking about how we're a global audio company, and, and we want Baton Rouge to know who we are. And, like, some of these companies are really stepping it up in terms of, of their community involvement. Um, going back to the, the, the 2020 forecast panel, Exxon talking about what they're doing in North Baton Rouge. Business First Bank talking about employment options. You know, and as a criminal justice guy, I'm sitting there loving all of this, right? So... This showcased breakfast, though, it's just it's just the appetizer, right? I mean, because we've got one coming up on the twentieth. Talk to me about talk to yeah. me about the next one. I'm really, really, really excited. As a matter of fact, uh, this was a personal mission, and I decided um, to make it a, a business report uh, uh, event because I wanted to scale it on a much larger uh, 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 scale. And so, on February twentieth, we have the leading uh, leadership guru in America coming in, John Gordon, who's written sixteen books, seven of them are bestsellers: "The Energy Bus," um, "The Carpenter," uh, "The Power of a Positive Team," uh, "Leading in a Positive Manner," and, and et cetera, et cetera. So he's coming to Baton Rouge on February twentieth. He's going to do a special program here, uh, as you know before. As a matter of fact, I'm at, I'm, I had a conversation because he's he works with the Los Angeles Dodgers. He's worked with uh, Dabo Sweeney at Clemson um, and a lot of NFL and NBA teams. And so he's going to be coming to Baton Rouge. We got that world-class speaker coming to Baton Rouge on February 20th. It's going to be at the HPC Arena off of Highland Road. Um, and not only is he going to give us a one-hour presentation, but he's going to take uh, – we're going to have a Q&A session awesome. so that people in the audience can actually and, – and look – this event, because I've had people, is it just for business people? No, 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 no. Uh, if, if you're if you're in if you're a leader in a department, if you're starting a, a business, if you're a coach, right? I mean, his content is so good. Uh, you know, he's got a great line um, that 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 uh, that I've I've heard him say over and over. You don't have to be great to serve but you have to serve to be great right and if you're going to reach your full potential as a leader you've got to understand you know this is what a lot of our elected officials need to understand you know many of them they're they're public servants but when they get there after a who while you they serving? think uh, that's who you right serving? exactly that's exactly <laughs> right right and so again i'm excited about because uh, i've read seven of his books and he's going to deliver great content and he's fired up about coming so to baton rouge franz borkart or brian haldane or one of our listeners wants to go to this thing Real simple. Talk, talk to me about yeah. it. Yeah. Just go to businessreport.com under a slash events, and boom, it's going to pop up okay. there once you click. And you can uh, purchase your your ticket there. By the way, Franz, talking about giving back to the community, nobody, I made sure nobody is making a penny. All Good. of the proceeds are going to go to a, a, a nonprofit called Empower 225, which I'm helps familiar. kids yeah. within the foster program, yeah. right? And so, um, you know, What's amazing, we live in one of the poorest regions. Certainly, we live in the poorest state in, the, in America, and this is one of the most generous communities in America. I called four sponsors to help underwrite his fee. I called Shell, Investar Bank, Acadiana AV, and uh, Mercedes-Benz, and all four immediately said, we're in, we're in, we're in, and especially if all the proceeds are going to go help these kids in the foster system, and boom, so, that's going to happen February 20th. Dude, that's exciting. And, I, and I'll tell you, before I started doing this radio show, when I was just Franz Borkart, fantastic, awesome, kick butt, criminal defense attorney, when I was just that, I will tell you, I didn't really pay attention to banners. And now that I pr help do this thing, Brian does all the heavy lifting, I just sit and talk, 
I start seeing who's on these banners because sponsorships matter, right? They really who's do. Who's giving back to the community? That's right. And you see companies that are consistently Investar, you know, uh, Mercedes Benz. I'm not leaving out your other two, yeah, but yeah, she, yeah. you know, yeah. No, I told Nick from Mercedes the other day, I want those kind of people on this show. I want people that are giving back. And right. yeah, I get it. it. There's a marketing and PR component, but there's also, hey, we're investing back in our own community right. to make it better. So that's right. Now look, we've got about we got about five minutes. I need to change gears here, man. I need to change gears. I need to talk two two five. Can we change gears? You guys are doing the best of two two five magazine. Uh, it's it, right now we're in the nominations process. That's correct. Talk exactly to me right. about that. Super. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Look. Uh, of course, you know, we, we love our main mission at 225 is to help local people discover the people in the places that make Baton Rouge unique, you know. And, and so I'm real proud of our team, uh, Jen Termo and, and, and the rest of our writers. Uh, and um, so we're in the nomination process. Right. And this year we've enlarged the categories. We've got more categories in the history. Uh, we're going to be celebrating our 15th anniversary, by the way. This November will be 15 years that we birthed this baby. Uh, and so we have it's a, a special anniversary. Yo, let me tell you, it is a teenager. And so um, the actual voting will start in March. Right. And we're going to be kicking it off with a uh, voting party, a hot off the press party uh, in March. It's going to be at uh, Rouge. Uh, at the, at, yes, yes. We've had uh, – we've not Brian. That's his brother. We've had Stephen Hightower. Stephen, yeah. I went to high school with Brian Hightower. We've had Stephen on here, and in fact, we've done some great events with Rouge. I did a cigar dinner with Rouge. Dude, that it's place gonna is be there. awesome. It it's really awesome. is, and the food's super, too. So I want to point this out real fast to you. I know the nominations process is going to come to a close first week of February. That's think, correct. Next week. Yeah, next week. Next week. When I had I had some of your, your family on here, I yeah. had I had Jen, Jen on here. I had Mark. Mark. Yeah. I will tell you. I wanted to make it a point to point this out. People, the common misconception is it's pay to play, right? Correct. That's the common. If anybody ever watched, man, this best of 225, it's pay to play. It actually isn't. And in fact, one of the things I've loved learning about your company is editorial and sales are two different beasts. They don't, they don't, That's correct. you know, those, those, correct. those, it, it is an amazing misconception. So really, if you like somebody out there, if you if you're like, hey, I like Masons, they're the best brunch, or hey, the Go Rouge radio show is the best radio show, it kicks Haldane's show, like, no, that's not true. Brian's show is much better than my show. But if you like these shows, you get on, it couldn't be simpler. You just nominate them. That's right. And then whoever, well, I guess the cream rises to the top, so to speak. Yep. Whoever's the highest nominations, they become on the ballot. And then that's correct. you go vote. We, we typically take the top 10 to 15 in different categories, depending yeah. on the category, number one, number two. You make a real great point because over the years, We've tried to fight that perception. but And I'll give you a classic example. Uh, you know how many times Florida Lee Pizza has won? You know how many times they've advertised? Call zero. You know right. how many times Ruth's Chris has won? You know how many times they advertise? Zero. And so it it's all about what the readers and the people in Baton Rouge and the 225 want and nominate and vote for. So, again, that process is going on now. We'll divulge all of the uh, results uh, in the July issue, but it's going on in the next 30 days. Last thing I want to talk to you about. Last thing I want to talk to you about. Got about what five minutes? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Last thing I want to talk to you about it is Facebook can see this wonderful publication. Um, I got this delivered to my office. Um, it's it's an LSU publication. It's a business report, but I mean, honestly, it could it could be any of your publications. Talk to me about this, and this then more one, importantly, yeah. where I can get that. Sure, this is a real special. Actually, uh, we uh, produced a, a commemorative issue. Uh, highlighting the iconic uh, year that uh, uh, we had uh, at LSU. And so this is a compilation of every game that took place it's this really season. Uh, the Heisman Trophy uh, uh, highlights for uh, Joe Burrow, Coach O, Coach of the Year. Uh, and, of course, uh, the, the icing on the cake was the national championship game. So it's a commemorative issue. Uh, we compiled it. LSU helped us uh, put this piece together. And it's a really a collector's uh, item. I want it. And, and so, uh, it's available in certain newsstands. Certainly, uh, you can go to businessreport.com and, uh, purchase a copy there, but, uh, they've been going like hotcakes and, uh, we only have a few left, believe it or not. I mean, as soon as it came out and hit the streets, we started getting phone calls and emails and, and so, uh, we're extremely proud. And I, I'll tell you what, it just, it just captures the essence of the entire season, which hell, I'm still not over. I mean, still, so, still think about the so season. You told me something before we went on that I, I think is everybody hasn't acknowledged yet. 
we're probably never going to see this again, right? This is so special. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we'd love the idea of LSU winning national championships every – be that – That dynasty. I could see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But but this kind the of – The manner in which it happened, right? Right. right. The, the sheer dominance, the sheer dominance. I mean, this – and look, guys, I have this on my desk right now. This is an amazing issue. Um, I am buying gifts for people – I mean, this is on eBay right now, right? I mean, shit. I mean, wow. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it is on eBay, but it, it's costing a lot more because some people have taken the publication. Don't, don't be that guy and get it on eBay. And are, and, and, and are selling it at a higher price. So, okay, a couple more things before I – man, I need more time with you. I need I need more time with you. Um, while I'm thinking about it again, guys, you definitely want to go to the February 20th breakfast yeah don't miss it it's it's a real unique you know one of the things that uh we're we're going to be doing uh, in the next couple of months the next couple of years we want to bring world-class uh experts uh think leaders into baton rouge uh and that's one of our goals at the business report and 225 uh is to bring that type of caliber people down here and expose our leaders expose our community to that type of thinking you know whether it be artificial intelligence business leadership uh anything again uh, I just keep going back, and I know I sound a little bit redundant, but a rising tide raises all boats, and that's what we want to do. We want everybody in every sector in our community to flourish. So next time we get together, um, and I've already talked to Kenny Wynn about this, I need to have a conversation about retention. So I'm 41. I'm I'm locked in. I'm not going anywhere, baby. I'm, I mean, I've got a I've got a a fruitful. I'm not going to overstate it. But I've got a I've got an okay law firm going on right now. I have fun with the radio show. I'm, I'm making waves on that, but. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm retained, so to speak. I want to have a conversation about retention. I know we only have two minutes left, so we're not going to have it today necessarily, but getting people to stay, come here and stay here. I love that idea, and I'd be more than glad to come with Kenny uh, uh, at some point because I cannot tell you how many parents call me and said, Julio, will you spend some time with my, my, my daughter or my son recently graduated from college and they're, and, and they're thinking about moving out of Baton Rouge? Can you, help, can you share with them right. why they should – uh, stay here in Baton Rouge, and we're losing too many. We're losing too too many uh, young people. We're losing so much talent to Texas and to Georgia right. and to other places. Um, and look, it's been a challenge for a while, but there's a lot of positive things coming down the pike, and we've got to really fight to keep that talent here in Baton Rouge. Well, I like what you guys are doing in, in that vein. I mean, I like the fact that we're having national leaders – national folks coming in look you've been listening to the go Roo show i have julio from business report 225 in register and you are busy you're busy thank you for making the time to come in look before you leave i've got a hat for you man i've got a either purple or red you're like rojo the, baby uh, rojo now look rojo. you're like the only one who hasn't had a hat i mean oh it's brian <laughs> you, you don't have a hat brian Easy now. Have a hat. yeah you gotta I mean, rub the salt in the wound every week yeah uh, baby it's like a rodeo belt buckle buddy you got to earn it. You can't just buy it or, or get it. So, look, we're going to take a break, Brian. We're going to take a break. We've got some we got some nice folks coming on. We got Leslie from Southern Flair. We got Carissa coming on. Julio, thank you for coming on. Thank you, Facebook, Frost. don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Keep it going. All right, brother. Keep it going. Good. Absolutely, man. Thank look, you. We're going to take a photo. You don't have to put the hat on. You got good hair. I don't want to mess up thank the you, hair. Thank you. Thank but we're going to take a photo real sure, fast. Sure, 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 sure. You. Sure. Side here. Right here. We do right in front of the sponsors. Appreciate it, baby. Yeah, you need anything? Let me know. Keep it going, man. Great job. All right, Facebook. We've got we've got a second half coming up. Let's get the ladies in here. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know. I thought I said shoot. <laughs> what are you? What is this? A few good men? Get Leslie in here too. This is your buddy. Y'all have fun. Thank you. It's a good, very good issue. I'm, I'm not just saying that. It really is a good issue. <laughs> All right, ladies, come on. So I'm going to pull this mic over if that's okay. You're the lead of the evening. You just show up. All right, three. I want her on this one for now, and you're going to be right here. Check, check, check. Can you hear me? 
All right, so we're doing some housekeeping stuff. Facebook Live. Hey, how's it going? Um, we're going to intro back in. i got to do some stuff, and then we're going to jump in with you, sister, first, and then we're going to segue into her. But I wanted you two to connect because this one's doing some magnificent stuff. I've been a fan of yours for a while. Thank you. Um, and, in fact, you kind of started the, around the same time I was doing the Go Roos stuff. So, um, But in your world of stuff that you're doing mm-hmm. and in your world with the networking group that uh-huh. we're talking about to talk about. Okay. It doesn't have any guys yet. No, nope, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> y'all need y'all needed to connect. So yeah, there was yeah. some meth. I told her this oh, morning. Cool. I said there's method to, to the madness. So love it. You like red or purple? Oh, That's your question. Say purple right now. Red, red or purple? Oh. You can have either one. Oh, then I'm going with red if I'm wearing it. This is an original hat, by the way. The, the original OG like is red, but you can have either Those one. Those are awesome. Red or purple? purple. Of course. <laughs> <sighs> How are you? Right. It's like juggling. Do you ever sleep? Um, yes. Just a few hours. So I am very Facebook, we're talking about my lack of sleep. So here's the deal. <laughs> I am very powerful in the morning. I am very powerful in the morning. Like four, three, five, six. I can do a whole bunch of stuff in that time period. At five o'clock in the afternoon, I need about an hour because I'm mm-hmm. useless. Do you and like- Close your eyes. No, I have a four-year-old, so (laughs) prime playtime is Mm -hmm. between the time of 5 and Mm 8.30. So I've been going to bed like around 9 lately, Mm -hmm. and I feel like a little kid because, like, I have the best slumbers. Anyways, are we good? Yeah, we're ready to roll. It never happens. I said a word I'm not supposed to say. You said what? I said a word I'm not supposed to say Uh, on the radio. Do we have a list? (laughs) (laughs) You'll know. Okay. (laughs) Thank you, Brian. Welcome back to episode 11 of the Go Roos Show. We're hitting the second segment. Brian Haldane's on Master Control. You're listening to the sweet sounds of Franz Borkhart. Look, second segment, Brian. Second segment, we've got Leslie from Southern Flair. We've got Carissa. I got. we got to acronym this, Carissa. Christo Ray Baton Rouge Franciscan High School. Oh, no, it's a lot. That's a mouthful. That's it a mouthful. It is. A so we I have could bo- go with Christo Ray Baton Rouge. I like so. it, Christo Ray Baton Rouge. You are the VP of Community Engagement. I am. That's a great. That's a great handle. It's. I an mean, that's a great title, huh? I yeah, like, I like I it. I like engaging the community. So I invited you guys on today because I want to talk about. First of all, I want to talk about a clay shoot that you have coming up, and then more importantly, what you're doing at Christo Ray. Because candidly, you're about to graduate your first class, right? We are. I'm we very are. excited yeah. about. Um, I met yeah. you about. About a year ago, mm-hmm. uh, Carissa, I met her a year ago when she was doing Leadership Baton Rouge. I, I did a talk about criminal justice. And more to the point, I had you, when I was filling in for Mr. Haldane, which is some big yes. shoes to fill, yes. normally normally we have a segment, you know, what is it, DC Current? Is it? Do what? Yeah. Yeah, DC Current. Normally we have Congress, Congressman Graves on, but mm-hmm. I decided to change it up. Because I thought you'd be more interesting to talk to. Not nothing Thank against you. your nothing against your husband. So, and then we're going to talk to Leslie. Of course, Leslie, you're you're, you're Hi. there's nothing. Leslie's like, uh, thanks, Ron. <laughs> Hi. So, before we jump into this, God bless us. Before we jump into this, let's talk about our sponsors. The Go Roost Show is brought to you by Sullivan Steakhouse, Breck, Louisiana Tech Park, the law offices of Smith Shanklin and Sosa, a go-to personal injury law firm. You're not going to find these folks on billboards, Brian. You're not going to find them on billboards, but they're like ninjas. They're just fantastic. Realtor Brittany Melanson at Keller Williams Red Stick Partners. She's going to help you list it, sell it, and then buy it. She's one of my favorite realtors in Baton Rouge. Um, and then lastly, the Borkhart Law Firm. Borkhart Law Firm is a sponsor that of this. Familiar. Right. I hear he's a good criminal defense attorney. <laughs> I hear that Franz guy. Okay, so look, let's jump in. So, Carissa, talk to me. What is Christo Ray Baton Rouge? What All is right. it? Uh, Christo Ray Baton Rouge is part of a national network of schools, but we're the only one in the state of Louisiana. Um, We are a school and a fully-fledged staffing agency side-by-side. This allows for each and every single one of our students, we're a high school, 9th through 12th grade, to work and earn a majority of of their tuition. Right. And you are, in fact, about to graduate your first 
class. How exciting is that? We are. So we have been up and running for four years, grown a grade each year. So this is our first year to have ninth through 12th graders. We've got 41 seniors who are in the thick of, you know, the college applications, the FAFSA forms, the decisions, the letters. So it's a big, big time for them, their families, and our entire Crystal Ray community. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thank now, you. look, the real reason I had you on today. Yes. The real, besides the fact that I just love what you're doing, Friday, March 6th. Yes. You yes, guys yes. are doing a little charity event, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Let's, so, our pew, you're getting a pew pew at Clay's, right? We are. That's what my son says. My four year old Brian pew. says pew pewing. We don't, we don't, <laughs> we don't pew pew at people, daddy. So, Clay shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We decided, you know, let's uh, do Christo Clay's. So, okay. we're going to have a clay shoot out at Bridgeview Gun Club in Port Allen. Um, this is our first ever fundraising event um we've Scary. been really <laughs> focused on just you know growing our student population and making sure we've got the jobs that we need so we're going to go out there and try and raise some money um, to bridge the tuition gap our students earn most of the tuition through their work but there's a gap there so this event helps your students Correct. that's that's the easiest way of saying it right absolutely so if 100%. somebody if somebody wants to get more information about the Christo clays where would they go um, they can email me direct at cgraves okay. at christoraybr.com or they can call 225 like 788 8893. Certainly, it's going to be up on our website, christoraybr.org, as well. So, for those of you out there who have kids um, that are in the four year old range, and if you've ever watched a Lego movie, the Lego people heroes whatever when they shoot at each other they go pew 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 which is why it's the pew pew yeah, so yeah. so it's a gun thing so anyways <laughs> so brian do you ever shoot clays you ever i've shot? never shot clays before dude it's so fun it's so fun i'm horrible at it but it is so fun i'm glad you guys are doing that yeah, yeah. Um, i'm gonna get folks outside get together uh even if you don't shoot we'd love to have people join us sponsor or come out, well, come let's, on out and hang out. Let's talk about that. There's yeah. sponsorship opportunities, right? There are. I'm looking at a sponsorship form. You have presenting sponsor, hospitality sponsor, premium station sponsor. There's ways for you to give back, even if you're not a shooter, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. All kinds of levels. All right. So I'm glad you're here. Thank I'm you. glad you're here because Thank you're about to meet one of, one of my favorite people in Baton Rouge. She doesn't know she's one of my favorite people in Baton Rouge. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Um, so in this crazy social media influencer, whatever we're called, Leslie, blog, you do a lot more blogging. Blogger, right? yeah, I used to yeah. do blogging. I just don't I do not do it as – I've been told I need to blog again, especially yeah. in conjunction with the radio show, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Casu Creative is, is like, like giving me the guilt they eyes. Know. They, they know. know. So you and I met when you were starting the Southern Flair thing. I don't know if you remember okay, or not. She just asked me, and I was yeah. like, I don't know if we've ever so, actually met in person. I just know you from the so, internet. So I, like you, had a day job. Yes. Um, and when we met and you told me what you were doing, I was like, that sounds very, very interesting. The difference between Leslie and I is Leslie decided, I don't want to do the day job anymore. I'm just going to do this. Yeah. So Leslie Southern Flair, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so I am Leslie Presnell, and I've been blogging at Southern Flair now for 10 years. Wow. This is my 10th anniversary wow. of blogging this March. Congratulations. Um, so it's really evolved over the 10 years, and it's really just a local-focused blog now. So I right. really speak to local women here in Baton Rouge and give them things to do, introduce them to other local people and local businesses, kind of similar to like you So, did. So you need to stop saying... It's just for local women because Why? I got to tell you, as a <laughs> as a progressive dude that likes to do things for his spouse that he loves very much, mm -hmm. guys get a lot of. I tell guys all the time, you need to look at things like Southern Flair to get ideas. Uh, I actually uh, get that a lot. Right. Yeah, so yeah. so I know I get yeah. it. I know who it's for. <laughs> But I'm telling you the reason, if you ever wonder, hey, why is Franz reading Southern Flair? <laughs> Franz spends more time on Southern Flair than ESPN radio. <laughs> if you're ever wondering that, I like getting ideas. Yeah. Um, but you're not just blogging anymore. You now have a massive networking tribe. Talk yes. to us about that. Okay, so about three years ago, um, I was thinking about my readers. Like, okay, I'm talking to these local women. And I was like, but I don't actually know any of them. And I'm like, they live right here in Baton Rouge. Like, that's a very easy fix. So 
I wrote a blog post and said that I'm starting a happy hour club and we're going to meet once a month for drinks, super casual, super laid back. I didn't want a whole lot of planning involved. So I set up. It's kind of become. (laughs) It's become a lot of planning now. (laughs) No, I was going to say it's a big deal. Yeah. So I, I created a Facebook group. And I put up our first event. We were going to meet at Ben 77. And I went by myself. And I was like, I just hope that someone shows up. That's always how it starts, right? Yeah. (laughs) Carissa, let me tell you how, as someone who occasionally does events, you you plan these massive things. And you're just like, the self-doubt, the imposter syndrome of, nobody's going to show up. Why would anybody show up to this? And the next thing you know, like, how many people show up? So we had about 20. That's awesome. At the first one. Right. And so now our group this January, we just got to over 600 women in the group. So that's crazy. But it's really cool. And it's it's evolved. Like, I'm seeing these girls, like, make real friendships um, and just doing things outside of the group. But then I get jealous because I'm like, wait, I see y'all hanging out. I know y'all met through me. Like, why why wasn't I invited? Uh, So, So here's the thing. To be a member of this group, what do you have to do? Is it just uh, showing up? Yeah, so it's a Facebook group. It's a closed Facebook group, and okay. I just ask that um, you live in Baton Rouge, and I want to, you know, make sure you're a real female living in our city, and I let you in the group. <laughs> Sorry, no boys allowed right That's now. That's all right. Um, yeah, and we just announce a different meetup every month, and you RSVP, and you show up. And now we actually do uh, fitness classes once a month, too. Uh, we just did CrossFit last week. Um, so kind of the idea, we're balancing our cocktails with – um, right. So healthy, crunches. healthy living habits. Yeah. Uh, and it's cool because girls get to try out new local so gyms and stuff. This for to me is a brilliant idea for you. Thank you. So one, it helps you, obviously yeah. helps your brand, of course. Um, just like when Julio was on here and we were talking about leadership, I obviously didn't point out, well, yeah, of course you foster leadership. It helps your brand. It helps mm-hmm. content, advertising, all that. But more to the point, you're connecting people and building networks that are super highways, right? I mean, you're yeah. building people that, you know, I looked at your photo and I made a little comment on social media and like two or three people messaged me. How do you know Leslie? How, <laughs> how do you, like, how do you know Kylie? I mean, what do you, what do you, yeah. and I'm like, it's a connective. And, and look, I don't care if you are a marketing person or a blogger. I don't care if you are a lawyer doing criminal defense. There's value in that, right? Yeah. So talk to me about what's the plan? Like, where are you For going? the happy about? hour club? Yeah, what, what, what's the plan? What's what's going to happen with this? I, you know, I don't know. I didn't have a plan going in three just years ago. It. And just now it's it. it has grown. I mean, we've added on the fitness events. And then I realized that a lot of women in the group had their own businesses or wanted to start their own businesses. So we started these co-working nights that we do at Brouhaha. So talk to me more about the co-working nights. So this is, again, all super casual. We just kind of pick a different topic, show up, and just chat and you know, everybody kind of leaves with our marching orders. It's a big brainstorming session, really, just for women to talk to each other, give each other ideas on their business. So as an entrepreneur, i got to ask, okay. what are the things that you're hearing in terms of, because obviously I'm, I'm not a female entrepreneur, mm-hmm. and I'm in a profession, so it's a little bit different than if I'm selling coffee, like La Divina, one of my favorite coffee shops. Um, we already had a happy hour club there. Oh, I'm aware. It was awesome. I, I had a conversation <laughs> with them. We took over the whole place. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it, it's different for me, the things I worry about and, 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 and insecure about, you know, mm-hmm. what are some of the things you're hearing when you're talking to these, these women? For women trying to yeah. run their own business? Yeah. Yeah. I think just the feeling that they have to do it all and right. that as an entrepreneur, you wear every single hat and a lot of them are also moms and, you know, there's just a big learning curve to learn all the things that aren't really your... My favorite entrepreneur is the mommy entrepreneur mm. who is juggling raising kids, yeah. who is juggling running a business. And, and it's unfair sometimes. And I've said this on the show before. It's unfair sometimes because I don't get – I'm doing a million things, right? Mm-hmm. I don't get the same judgment as a parent that a woman gets. And it's totally unfair, right? Because, yeah. like, if I'm doing well, a million and things – we tend to judge ourselves. Right, so. And, right, you're judging yourself. There's the, the – I, I just put, made a post on social media about the p- imposter syndrome. It's the second time I've referenced that today, Brian. Um, but I love it because it's it's something that if you're in the heat of things, there's that moment of like you, you show up to the you show up to an event. I had that feeling going back full circle to Julio. I went to the leadership breakfast, this power leadership mm-hmm. breakfast. Your husband did great, by the way. Speak, yeah. and I'm sitting there, and I sat there for about five minutes thinking, why am I here? What do I don't belong here? Why am I here? Mm-hmm. If I could have a, if I can have a moment of insecurity and vulnerability Mm -hmm. 
And it's just like, it, if I'm getting that, I know I'm not the only one because I'm yeah. mostly normal, mostly. <laughs> so, so those things that you're hearing, what is your kind of, I mean, because it's the same thing, right? It's, it's the same. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So what are you, how are you guys supporting each other through that? Well, I mean, with the co-working nights, but kind of in addition, which we haven't really mentioned, but I also do like online marketing. You're to, consultant, right? To take kind of that aspect right. off of their plate. Um, and we do, I have a goals with action program that teaches these women like how to set goals in their business and how to like plan out their year. So giving them like that accountability and just the, the knowledge that I have whenever. I got they, you. So, so look, a lot of us are flying by the seat of our pants. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, Brian's not, I'm, I might be, you know, so, okay. If people want to get more information about Southern Flare, mm-hmm. best place to go. My blog, your blog, uh, of course, southernflareblog.com, and that actually links out to kind of everything else. So it links out to the Happy Hour Club. It links out to it, <laughs> it links out to like the online marketing where you can. Um, we have the co working nights on there. We have all the events, our shopping events. Everything's there. So you also need to read. You recently reposted it, and I read it in preparation. Oh yeah, yes. You need to read the blog about. You making the yeah. decision to go How from, I knew I was ready to right. leave my job. All right, we got a little bit of time. Brian, how much time we got? Because I, mean, I want to ask her about that. Oh, we got okay. seven minutes. That's awesome. Because okay. I'm going to go back to Chris, I promise. Okay, okay. So what were you doing? What were you doing? And then how did you know? So I, yeah, so blogging for 10 years, and then I taught middle school for seven of those years. Wow. And I, I mean, I love teaching and and I think teaching came like naturally to me, so it was hard to kind of decide to leave a profession that I was kind of good at, but I was leaving school every day and going home and blogging every night for little to no pay. And it's like, okay, if I'm like this dedicated, then this is what I'm eating, sleeping, and breathing, then I think I'm being pulled kind of more this direction. So I kind of thought about leaving for about three years before I finally did. And then I got serious about it, like kind of my final year of teaching and kind of put things in a place to where I knew I would survive. So <laughs> I had a moment, and I'll talk to you about Go Rouge for a second. Okay. So obviously we're on the radio. Mm-hmm. Um, we're digitally on Facebook Live right now. But, but Go Rouge was never meant to be monetized. I'll say that again. Go Rouge was never meant. Go Rouge was, I have a day job that can be soul crushing, and I love doing it, yeah. but it can be real soul crushing. Mm-hmm. And so Go Rouge, Baton Rouge Brunches, that was all about doing something that was a distraction from the day job. So when I started doing the radio show, and it did start becoming somewhat monetized, I had a long internal debate of, I don't need this. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want it. I don't know if this is what I want for my my side hustle, so to speak. Did you ever go through that? Because, I mean, you're leaving your job, right? Yeah. You're leaving your job to do this full time. Was there ever this sense of, man, this is like, I don't know, or was it always, this is what I want to do, this is how I want to make my living? Yeah, I mean, I think I knew staying in a job where, you know, you have your steady income, you have your insurance and your retirement and all these nice things. Safety. Um, But yeah, I was still being pulled the other direction. And in the blog post, I just kept coming back to like, what's the worst that could happen? And the worst that, yeah, (laughs) you lose everything, (laughs) you starve and you die was my biggest fear. But I'm like, that's never going to happen. So I tell entrepreneurs, (laughs) the worst thing that can happen is it doesn't work and you go get a job. And you go right back. Yeah. 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 It's, it's going to be okay. Yeah. You're going to get your knees yeah. scraped. I mean, and if you're going to do entrepreneurship, you're going to get your knees scraped you're up. You're going to fail a um, lot. I have told someone recently, one of my phrases that I have at my office, um, it's very subtle. You can't miss it. It says we feast on failure. Yeah. So, like, I have learned far more from my failures. Love that quote. From, yeah, right? So, like, the jobs I didn't get, the jobs I got fired from, the, the look, this radio show, for example, I pitched this to a lot of people before mm-hmm. this thing happened. There were a lot of notes. I asked Brian out a lot of times <laughs> before, before Brian Haldane said yeah. yes. My point is, the worst thing that can happen is you're going to pick yourself up and you're going to be okay, right. right? So, all right. So, we've got a little bit of time left. I want to come back. I want to come back. So, so, so you're listening to all the stuff she's doing. Yeah. Talk, yeah. Right? I love it. We, I used right. to teach middle school, too. So, we've right. got that in common. So, what do you think? I mean, is this something you would want to be a part of? 
I mean, I'm not to put oh, you on the spot. Don't right? say no. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, I already that. tried to sign up for the happy hour, but I don't have Facebook on my phone. I'll have so, to revisit. So that. what I love, it, what I love about it though is, if you look at the photos of the networking, mm -hmm. it's different people, right? It's not just one age. It's not just mm -hmm. one. It's it's people in different areas mm -hmm. and different sectors. So that was a question I had. You know, like, do you have a typical? member what age women do you have you know is yeah I would say average is probably um, 25 to 35 but like I mean even saying like I have a niche where I'm talking to a specific local female you know people it branches out yeah. so it's yeah no really set age it's so good, good. And, and so look so I can join yes <laughs> yeah, and, yeah and look invite the, your friends <laughs> yes. going for 700 so okay we're gonna come full circle so I know where to go to for for Southern Flare. Yes. Remind us where to go to to get more informational about either Crystal Clays or about your school. Yes, I, I certainly welcome any contact directly to my email cgraves at cristoraybr.org. Um, our website is cristoraybr.org, and then the phone number is two two five seven eight eight. Eight eight nine three, um, but this is this has been really interesting because again I work directly with high schoolers who are planning and and anticipating and anxious about their next steps and what their future holds and I think uh, feast on failure taking things one step at a time and being open to opportunities is is just awesome for so any age. I originally I told I told someone at Catholic High yesterday I'm, I'm helping Catholic High with a mock trial team. You know, that, mm -hmm. that time I actually lawyer, Brian. So I'm helping one of their mock trial teams out, and I was talking to a teacher that was very excited about the idea of being a lawyer, and I told her, I said, when I was 21, I graduated from LSU, and I had a degree in English literature and Latin. I did not know that. And I had <laughs> applied for a teaching job, and I had gotten offered a teaching job to teach senior English at, at Catholic. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I freaked out. I was like, I'm 21. I'm not mature enough to teach these people. It'd be like a giant frat house. Mm. And so I turned it down. And I worked at Best Buy for two weeks and realized I didn't want to work at Best Buy. And so on a whim, I took the LSAT and I applied for law school. I was the guy that went to law school because I was hiding from the real world. Not a secret. I'll tell this to people all the time. Here now. Um, I got lucky, though. I found an area of law that I love doing. I got lucky in the sense that my business, my entrepreneurship, allows me to do all this crazy stuff but I originally was going to be a teacher and she asked me she goes well do you ever regret not being a teacher I said well no because I've, I've gotten to teach the law school mm -hmm. I get to help out I still get to teach in my own way mm -hmm. but I was not mature at the time mm -hmm. and it was so it's such a blessing that I didn't take that gig because I don't know where I would be right now but look we're running low on time guys thank y'all for coming in I have thank you. I have some wonderful swag hats right behind you now look Leslie you've got a lot more style than I have, so I'm gonna let you pick whichever one. Brian, do you like purple or red? I like purple. Why don't we give Brian a purple one? It's you've do I hey keep my hey yes okay. hey, <laughs> you've earned it. You've earned it, Brian Haldane. And you have to actually wear the hat and take a picture of it in the hat. Of course. Yeah. Right. So look, all I ask you ladies to do, it take like you're ready to share the I share know, the swag. I'm spirited. <laughs> so we definitely look look. I am gonna challenge you. I'm gonna challenge. So I think you need to do a networking event okay. where you invite the boys to come mm. to and you let the boys come and listen. Okay. So they're not allowed to talk? Well, not, not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, they're not the, we're not talking duct tape over the mouth or anything. That's right. Duct tape over the mouth, Brian Haldane. But you let them come talk. Yeah. Um, and you or listen mm -hmm. to what you guys are talking about. Because you know what we're really bad at? Listening. Listening, listening. to women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... I do a lot of jury work and jury consulting, and one of the biggest things I tell people is you got to learn to listen better. So look, that's about it for this episode of the Guru Show. Look, if you like what we're doing, why don't you follow us on Facebook or Twitter or Insta? The kids call it Insta, Brian. Insta. Uh, nobody calls it Insta. I'm the only one calling it Insta. It's, it's Instagram. It's Instagram. It's Instagram. <laughs> yes. Thank you. You also can look. By the way, Brian, did you know you could go to the Talk1073.com website? and listen on demand to any of our previous episodes? I assume you're asking me rhetorically because right. I'm the one who right. put them there. <laughs> right. Did okay. you know that? Did no, you know that? I, yeah, I kind of figured that out when I posted them there. Yes. So, look, you've been listening to Franz Borkart, <laughs> Brian Haldane on the boards. 
Thank you guys for tuning in. Leslie, Carissa, thank you guys. Thank you. And that's about it. Look, before you leave, let's take a photo. You can turn Facebook Live off. So last time...